What's going on PK Legends? It's Nintendo Gamer Legend here and welcome everybody back to another video. And in this video, we have another amiibo unboxing. So as you can see right here, I have five amiibos for you today. Actually, these three I have for you today. So of course it was Christmas a couple days ago. And I got five amiibo. I actually got these three originally. I got Sears Samus, Bowser Jr., and the 8-bit Mario amiibo from my mother, and from my uh, uncle, I got a uh, Toys R Us gift card, and I went and got Tom Nook. Uh, the reason why I got Tom Nook was because, you know, there was no other amiibo that I could buy, because I have pretty much all of them, and I also got Lucario. It was the last one, too, so thank God I got him. But today, it's going to be focusing on the three Smash Brothers amiibos that I got, and these two will be made for another video just to have another one come up on the channel very soon so stay tuned for these amiibo unboxings i can't wait to unbox these ones these ones are probably the coolest looking ones out of them all so first off let's look at their boxes here is azir's with samus she looks really nice in the package of course all of them really do and this is why i like to keep the boxes you can find zeros with samus pretty much anywhere uh then there's lucario he's the rarest out of them all uh but you know He's pretty cool. You could probably find him in a, in a store near you. And of course, you have Bowser Jr. Did get a little bit damaged through traveling to my father's house, but Bowser Jr. is definitely one of my favorite characters in the game. But without any further ado, let's get started in unboxing these on film. Alrighty then, so now that we have our amiibos out of the box, and one of the weird things about my Zero Suit Samus amiibo is that how I noticed this was flipped upside down. Uh, it was a little bit weird, but uh, let's take a look at Zero Suit Samus first. So I've been using a lot of Zero Suit Samus lately, I've been using her a lot, and Zero Suit Samus actually looks pretty decent. She doesn't look as nearly as good as the others, but I definitely had to pick her up since she's one of my mains in Smash. The gun, I feel like, is the worst part of this amiibo. If you see right there, if you zoom in, basically, the gun pretty much sucks. It's blending with all the other color. I'm trying the best I can to focus this because then my camera sucks. But, anyways, the gun kind of doesn't have that same exact coloring as the rest of her body. It's supposed to be, uh... I can see a little bit of hint of gray, but instead of it's just teal like the other colors. I think it's light blue and just darker blue. The boots actually look pretty decent. Uh, I feel like it does have a little bit of coloring issues. Her hair looks actually really good, and of course they have that little, uh, I think it's like a little, they even have that little, like, a little freckle on her, on her face right there. She also has some really nice decals on the rest of her torso, and the stand actually is bothering me a little bit. I really don't like the stand. Overall, it's a decent figurine. I mean, it's definitely not one of the best-looking Amiibos out there, but definitely it's good for your money. Uh, you can find her probably... She's probably the more rare out of all the other ones, and Ganondorf as well. But, yeah, I've already uh, unboxed Ganondorf off-camera that day I got him, and he was actually my first one. Uh, but, yeah, here's who's here's with Samus. Now let's move on to Lucario. 
Okay, so in my eyes, Lucario looks awesome. He's one of the best looking Pokemon Amiibos out there. They all look nice. Uh, this is, I only need Jigglypuff to complete the Pokemon set. But anyways, Lucario's stand is actually really nicely blended with the rest of the figurine. Of course, uh, it has a nice stance pose. It looks really similar to what he did in game. He's got kind of like that aura, ready to kick your ass kind of feel. The coloring is very nice. The paint job on the figure is very awesome. It just looks like Lucario. I actually like the little textures on his uh, little kind of like, I don't know, like vest that he has. The spikes actually look very nice detail. Very nice figurine. Very, very, very nice. Ten of the eyes I really like too. And obviously the face too. It's really nice. Um, I also like the legs, how you did it. You didn't fuck it up and make it like extremely like snappable. They are a little bit thicker, but you know, those thicker thighs though. Um, I also like the stand, like I said before, Lucario is definitely one of the better looking amiibos out there and more of the rare ones and it will be different, very difficult to find if you're late to the game. But the, he was restocked a couple months ago in October and I'm positive that he will be restocked one of these days, but I was luckily to get one today. Last but not least, let's move on to Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. looks fantastic. His clown car is very proportional to his body. Of course, you do not have his actual body inside the clown car, if you can see right there. It's just a little mold. But he looks badass. I feel like he looks really nice. The bib is done very nicely. His pose is perfect. I like the spikes on the back of his shell. His hair is a little bit thicker than it's supposed to be. But, you know, you don't want snap. Very nice. The clown car, I really like it. That's what I really like about Bowser Jr. And, of course, the stand fits perfectly, you know, bent down by the propeller. It looks like it's floating in the air. Looks awesome. Looks very, very nice. Bowser Jr. is an awesome Amiibo figure. I definitely recommend you can find it. It's Toys R Us, and honestly, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, he's probably the com the most common one you can find. So if there's a Toys R Us near you, he'll probably be there. He's really, really common. There was at least... 35 at that store but anyways this is Bowser Jr. and we have all three figures unboxed so that was pretty much the whole unboxing for the figures for Zero Suit Samus I recommend you get her she's probably my least favorite out of the bunch but you know I had to get her because she's a, one of my favorite characters in the entire game and then you have Lucario, and then you have Bowser Jr. Very nice sculpt, very nice stand. For Zero Suit Samus, I'm going to have her give her an 8 out of 10. The paid job could have been done a little bit nicely on her boots and her gun. And honestly, the stand is very, very ugly, I feel like. But it's not the worst thing ever. For Lucario, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I don't know, it just doesn't really look as cool as the other Amiibos, but he definitely looks awesome. I was a little bit late to the game on Lucario, but I was lucky to get him. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. Although, the reason why I do not like him that much, or got him on 1.5.5 scale out of the regular, is because, well, basically, I took off points because I don't really use Lucario all that much. He's pre pretty much a 10 in anybody else's eyes. But, Bowser Jr., I'm going to give him a 9.8. Of course, the hair does have a little bit of a difficulty, but, of course, it did take off points, it did take off points, but, you know, it's not a problem. These Amiibo figures are awesome. You could probably find these two more common than this one. Lucario is actually ridiculously rare, so if you can find him, make sure you pick him up, because he's definitely worth your money. He's definitely not worth going on eBay. I'm pretty sure you can find him if you dig deep enough. He can be found at... He can be found at Lucario. He can be found at Lucario. He can be found at Toys R Us uh, and GameStop. Those are the two places I found him. Target will also have it, but do not check Walmart. Walmart is terrible on their Amiibo stock. Make sure you guys go to Toys R Us, GameStop, or of course Target. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go like and make sure to stay tuned because we have two other Amiibo unboxings coming soon. We have the Super Mario Maker Classic Color. 30th anniversary Mario, and of course we have Tom up from Animal Crossing. I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. Hope you guys enjoy box unboxing your Christmas presents. Make sure you uh, also go back and watch the Halo Boom Co. Needler, and of course some other Let's Play videos. I'll see you all soon. This is Nintendo Gamer Legend, signing off. Peace.